So without further ado, I'm going to start picking on people. And this is kind of, kind of like my, uh, I'm not a comedian. So I have to try and find people up here to come and, and help out. So if I recognize you in the audience, you're going to come up and say something. So do, first, though, I will ask for volunteers. Are there, is there a first guinea pig volunteer who will come up and talk? There's got to be one person. Jay? Jay comes to my rescue. Jay Berkowitz. Thank you very much, Jay. It's all yours. Thanks, Jim. Just a shout out to... Sh What's that? Um, the 11th golden rule is actually hidden on 10goldenrules.com, Todd, so you can find it there. <laughs> lots, of fr lots of free content is the 11th golden rule. Uh, just a big shout out to Sean and Missy, as usual, an amazing show. I think the thing that really stood out to me about this year is coming to Affiliate Summit is really touching the heart of real entrepreneurs. And everyone who's here, and there's people from all over the world, are people who are really doing it. They're really writing content, they're putting content on websites, they're putting affiliate links, and they're really trying to make a buck. And uh, the real heart of American entrepreneurs are here at the show. So if you really want to see people who are really doing it, come on out to Affiliate Summit next year. Thank you. Before you go, how did your presentation go? Oh, it was great. And, uh, great crowd, really good response, and a lot of fun. We covered the 10 hottest strategies in internet marketing, and we covered all new, all new things about internet marketing. And I understand all the, sh all the presentations are going to be available at affiliatesummit.tv. That's right. That's right. And you can collect your check for pitching that at the end of the show, right? Just find Sean and Missy. And Thanks, Jay. All right. So who's going to be next? I see a whole table right here of people I know. I know every single person at this table almost. And one of them, one of them is going to come up. Lisa? Pick the, yeah, I should pick the guy I don't know. This gentleman right here, Todd Taylor, needs to come up and talk. Everyone give Todd a round of applause for coming up. Brave man. I'm feeling very unethical at the moment. And I'm certain it's going to be unethical at some point. I think it's the uh, uh, lack of, uh, well, I was just having this conversation walking down the stairs. Uh, I don't know if for those that didn't attend the last session there with uh, uh, some of our friends at ABW, you would have uh, missed a lively discussion about what's uh, unethical in uh, affiliate marketing. Um, but I, have, I have a tendency to think that it might be uh, the uh, anonymity and the lack of transparency that's out there that... Uh, creates the opportunity, so. Thanks, Jim. Can I say something? Do I have to be serious? Or Let, let's, let's, come on, come back, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Come back. Okay. So, you were just in the ethics panel. Yeah, no, I wasn't a panelist. I was no, a, you were in the panel. I was just drinking booze. And what did you get out of it? What, did, what do you think, any resolution? Well, my, I, I don't know, I'm wondering if uh, the PMA is gonna have the balls to get the job done, that's all. A bold statement. Okay, well, thanks. All right. Thanks, Todd. So, you know what? Let's get a newbie up here. I know this person has never been to Affiliate Summit before, and Kit Cassingham, who is an Affiliate Summit newbie. And I like to have people who are new come up because we all want to hear what you thought about the show uh, from Soup to Nuts. So, Give us your... All right. As Jim said, this is my first one, not my last one. I came not anticipating or anticipating not being able to find anybody who suited my particular market niche. Man, was I wrong. Good people, good connections, made new friends, learned lots. I'm not sure how I'll monetize all this yet, but I'll turn to Jim for help on that and Sean too. So, it's a good conference. So, now you run some green uh, websites, and uh, so you think you'll find, you've got help, you think that'll help you monetize this a little bit more? I mean, 
there had to be something here in a session or from somebody you met that is going to give you a good idea to go back home with, right? Right. Uh, the copywriting session I went to was valuable, helped me polish what I'm doing. Um, but I do environmental consulting to the hospitality industry and met lots of people who can help me in a variety of ways. Good programs, good products, uh, all kinds of stuff. All right, so that's a great point. So not only did you learn stuff, you met a lot of people who can help you or give you ideas. So thanks very much for coming up, Kit. Thank you. Kit Cassingham, ladies and gentlemen. She runs a great site called ecofriendlyhotels.com. Is that right? Environmentallyfriendlyhotels.com. Great. Green directory of sites. So um, let's see. Who can I pick on next? Zach just sits right down in front, begs me to ask him to come up here. He just sits right in front of you like the head of the class. Zach, come on. Just get it over with because you know I'm going to call you up here. Come on. Now, more importantly, how would you do in Wii Bowling? I beat everyone. You beat everyone. Yeah. So, so you've been to every show. And just kind of talk a little bit about why you like coming to the Affiliate Summit and anything special about this show. I got to, lead, got to meet a lot more people uh, this time that I've only met online. So I got to put a lot of faces to uh, just people leaving comments on the blog. And a lot of people are just coming up to me letting me know that what I'm writing about and sharing with others it really makes a difference with and helping them make money online. And that's what these events are really about. Uh, you're not going to succeed. You'll succeed online if you just stay that way and work online. But by coming to these events, the life experiences and the networking is crucial to expanding your business. You'll make so much more money when you actually have a personal relationship with a network or just a person individually. And they'll, they'll go that extra step to give you more money or an increase. And they actually know that you're a real person and they like working with you that much more. Yeah, that's a really good point. And you've been at these from the very beginning. And you've built your business and now your blog up from scratch for, God, for the last, I've known you for what, like five years now from these events. And, and we've become really good friends and, and he teaches me stuff all the time and we chat all the time and, and it's just good relationship building, right? Yeah, th this isn't just business. Everybody here, they're not only sending me checks every month, but they're also my best friends. I talk to my affiliate managers online all the time. And we're not just talking about business, we're talking about whatever's going on in our lives. So this isn't just business, it's fun. I'm still waiting for my check. Zach. Only my best friends pay me, so if you want to be a best friend, start sending me some checks. Okay. That's good advice. Thanks, Zach. And I hope the check's in the mail, right? Brad Waller, another veteran of the affiliate marketing industry. Should be a legend. Why aren't you a legend yet, Brad? So I'm not dead yet. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to actually uh, bring up Teresa Caldwell. Come on up. For those of you that aren't aware, they created a mentorship program to help people be introduced into what we have here and teach them about what affiliate marketing is not let them feel like they're outsiders, just introduce them in right into the heart of it. And Teresa ran the program. And you know, I, I don't know about everybody's people that they, they dealt with, but I don't know if Patrick's here, but my guy turned down to the, the, the most amazing success. I can't tell you how many people met him before I did and talked about him. Last night he organized a dinner and 11 people showed up. This is a guy who'd never been to Affiliate Summit before, didn't know what affiliate marketing is. I don't think he got his blog set up until last night. So, Teresa, thank you very much. This was a great thing. Well, I want to thank Sean and Missy for giving me the opportunity because just last year at this time, I was new. I didn't know anything. And through this program, it's even helped me I feel like a big part of this whole association now and I've learned so much about everybody and there's so many different types of people in this industry and as y'all can tell I'm from Texas so <laughs> <laughs> you can tell my accent but thank you Sean and Missy and everyone for being so so ready to help the new people 
that just shows me how passionate y'all are about this industry. Thank you. Anybody else in the mentorship program want to come up and talk about it? Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Teresa. All right. Before I have to start picking on people, I'll just go for volunteers. Who's going to do it? Come on. Here we go. Mike? Excuse me? Okay. Mike Michelle from 11 underscore 15 underscore media. Who I will not reply to tweets because I don't want to type it out. Thanks. Hey everybody, uh, this has been great. Uh, I've been in a lot of conferences uh, in a lot of different industries. This is my first affiliate summit in, in specifically this industry, obviously. Uh, this has been the best conference I've ever been at. Uh, the people have been great. Uh, yeah, clap! <laughs> people have been great. Um, the networking has been tremendous. Uh, it's like, like, I think like Zach Johnson said before, it's more than just business, it's friends, even though nobody's paying me yet. Um, <laughs> is that? Well, you don't have to pay me. No. Um, but th this has really been fantastic. If, if, um, if you don't know me, I've got a stack of business cards that I have to get rid of. Uh, so, Devil, we can do something together. I'm, I'm, I'm an affiliate, brand new to this game. If you're a merchant, get to know me. If you're a publisher, maybe we can help each other out. Um, if you're going to the Red Sox game tonight, buy me a hot dog, please. Um, it's been great. I want to I want to thank again, you know, uh, Sean and Missy and Sam Harrelson, my my great mentor, who I've learned so much from. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Lisa Piccarelli, who who doesn't get my name right, but but apparently I'm constantly on her mind. Uh, <laughs> Trisha Lynn, who has been great. Uh, a huge uh, Stephanie. She is a huge uh, Kevin Smith fan. And she had, and, and she's doing something with Kevin Smith apparently in New Jersey. So so you two gotta get together. And of course Jim Kukrell, who I've been following for a long time and has been great here as well. So thank you everyone. Thanks, Mike. Good to see you. Well, Christine, Chrissy, um, talk about the show. What you liked about the show? You want? You have some insights you'd like to share? Okay, here you go. So uh, best. Uh, best panel from my experience was actually the copywriting panel and if you missed it I advise you to catch up with this lady here Lisa Riolo so that uh, you can get on the email list because one of the things that she did really well was she decided to get all of our business cards because she's gonna put us on a list so we can all continue the discussion and that's really when you go to a conference and there's a lasting discussion like that's success um, in terms of networking, I think the best thing that happened to me here was I met two guys who work for a, a rail, a railway company, and when they, they gave me their business cards, I looked at them and said, I hate your website. Because I tried to book a rail on their website to Italy, and I couldn't. Big fail. And so we had a really good discussion about that, and uh, they also, uh, they they, they're really wonderful people to talk to, definitely have some challenges, and definitely came here and, and got a lot of answers uh, for their many, many confusing questions. So, and uh, I also came here on the uh, social media uh, bus organized by, <laughs> by the lovely Steph Agresta, who um, knows how to network and knows how to create a community around almost any topic. And for that, we all, especially in New York, love this woman because she keeps connecting us to more remarkable people. So, cheers to Stephanie, and um, hopefully you guys will come and join us over at Lucky Lounge later on for more fun. Thank you, Chrissy. That's it? Okay. She's so cute. I didn't know Lisa Riolo was taking emails. Are you spamming people with those emails? Or is that can spam compliant, Lisa? Is that ethical, Lisa? It's not ethical. Yeah. Wade Tonkin, come on up. GTO management, Wade. Hey, how's it going? Wow, that's loud. <laughs> Got my peeps in the house over there. All right, I wanted to thank everybody that came out for the, uh, the cruise on Sunday morning. We had 75 people get up and be there by 8.30 to go sail around the bay. 
had an awesome time with that. So thanks for everybody that came out. And uh, definitely watch out for something coming up in Vegas, because that's just the way we roll. Um, also, I just, this is awesome, because it's another chance for me to come back and see what's kind of my extended family now. So there's a lot of the, kind of the usual suspects over here and over there. And it's cool to see everybody every, every you know, twice a year and to make some new friends. Made a lot of great contacts, including uh, Brad's uh, mentee, Patrick, who's just awesome. Dude's off the hook. So um, another awesome event. Uh, thanks to Sean and Missy. And uh, if anybody wants some brownies, if you need a sweet fix, go talk to Karen, because we got a ton of brownies left to get rid of. So thanks for coming out. Yes, I'd like to personally thank you and Karen for bringing the brownies that have kept me going the last two days. So, all right, we have two guys here. Brett, introduce yourself and good. Yeah. How you doing? My name is Brett Petersell. I'm the events director for Mashable and Mashable.com. Um, I came on Stephanie Agressa's party bus on Saturday afternoon. Great crowd over here and some people back there. Uh, I had a great time. It's actually my first time at Affiliate Summit, and uh, met some great people. Learned more about affiliate marketing. Did some impromptu karaoke last night with Mike Bruin, my friend right here in the Yankees hat. Boo. Yeah, thank you. Um, and then I'd also like to introduce you to Oz Sultan from NextWeb and Tastic Knowledge, and he's going to tell you more about himself. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, we also came up here on the party bus, and we're headed back with Gary Vee tomorrow, so I'm sure that'll be some sort of debacle. Um, no, awesome conference. I mean, like, good sessions. Uh, this is the first affiliate summit that we've all pretty much been to, um, but we're looking forward to you guys coming down to New York sometime soon. And uh, been a lot of great networking, met a lot of cool people here. Um, a lot of free drinks. So uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Great singing last night. I enjoyed that. It was really good, I swear. I feel it's time to pick on somebody. Let's see. Kim? Kim? Yeah, come on. Come on. Will you come up? Thank you very much. Last night she couldn't get over my shoes. She loved them so much that she took a picture of them for the blog. Hey, Kim, talk a little bit about your bit about the show. I have been to every single affiliate summit with Zach, and before that, I was went to the affiliate course. And I have to say that Sean and Millie, Missy, are much better organizers than Herbie. <laughs> no more drinks. But it's a great show, and I learn. I go home, and I'm just so pumped up because I learn so much new that I want to. I get all these great ideas that that it's fun. And now I'm going to give you some fashion advice. Jim, <laughs> never wear black socks with brown sandals. Never, ever. White socks are not good, but they are better than black. Okay. Okay. And his picture will be on, I'm going to blog about it. And I'm also going to blog to Sam Harrelson about ping.fm as well. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. I learned a valuable lesson. Speaking of Sam Harrelson, let's have him come up here. Because Sam has a lot to say. He's a very insightful person. Very spiritual. <laughs> I'm making things up. Here you go, Sam. Thank you, Jim. I have not been to every affiliate summit, but I've been to many of them. And uh, this is, again, uh, definitely the, my favorite so far, uh, just because this industry keeps evolving and changing and, and moving, but there's a core group here that really care about what's going on, and it's good to see them year after year, and it's also so great to see all the new people come in. So, um, yeah, I mean, thanks to Sean and, and Millie for putting that together, and uh, thanks to all my, my friends and new friends, and let's just all be kind to each other. Isn't Sam a great guy? He's such a good friend. Thanks, Sam. So let's get another newbie up here, Tim Jones. The real Tim Jones, will he stand up? From therealtimjones.com. He has bad politics, but he's a nice guy. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Um, this is my first affiliate summit, although it's not my first conference. And, but one of the things about this industry that always amazes me is how close everyone is and how easy it is to network. 
Uh, I've gotten to meet a lot of people that I've only talked to online, and it's like we've been friends for a long time, and it's, it's really been enjoyable for the conference. The other thing is that something Jay Berkowitz talked about earlier is, you know, we're all a bunch of marketers and entrepreneurs here, and having been to a lot of other conferences, especially something like this with a lot of marketers and salespeople, I think you run into the challenge that you end up going to all these sessions and all you get is a sales pitch. And that's something, with a few exceptions, I didn't notice at all here. And I think that's one of the strengths of this conference is you just get good, valuable information. You don't get a sales pitch from somebody up there in spite of the fact that they're representing a company. And I, I think that's something very important to keep as part of this conference because I think that's part of what separates it from anything else. Thanks. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Jamie, hiding in the back right won't make me call on you. You know that, don't you? All right. It's funny, Tim, that you just said you're the first time coming here. I thought I've seen you at all of them. Uh, you know, the great thing, as everybody said here, obviously it's a networking event, there's a lot of people in the industry, it is small, we all get to see each other. But what I have to say I love the most is that I can come here, and now I've been here three days, I came with 200 bucks in my pocket and I still got all my money. So, I love this stuff, I love affiliate marketing. That's a great point. Is Sean in the room yet? He's not here? Millie's here. By the way, I think you, you're, you're Millie now. All right, don't make me beg. Lisa, just come up and talk. She can't, she doesn't want to, okay. I picked on you last time. Trisha Lynn. No? Wow. <laughs> Stephanie Agrista, just come up. Don't, since when are you timid? Walk up to the mic. I don't need to call you. Yeah, you're very shy. In case you didn't know, Stephanie's shy. Here you go. I'm quiet. Thanks, Jim. I just want to thank all the people who came up from New York. Woo! And um, ma for making this, first off, Missy and Sean, for making this an awesome show. Definitely one of the best. I loved the layout. I thought the content was great. But, you know, what I wanted to talk about was um, kind of what I call the Venn diagram of conferences. So I go, as everyone knows, if you follow me on Twitter, I go to a lot of conferences. And... Um, what I really appreciated about this Affiliate Summit was as someone who's been, I went to the first Affiliate Summit in New York and I've gone to quite a few. And uh, every, the, you know, the last two years as the industry has changed and so much is happening in the world that we live in, um, I see more and more influx from people with new ideas and, and new businesses. And I just, I, I'm really excited about the Venn diagram that's being created between you know, people from other worlds and people from traditional performance marketing worlds. And I think the more we kind of open ourselves up from a business and a personal uh, networking perspective, the better it is for everyone. So I just wanted to thank you all for putting your good energy into that experience. Thanks. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, Lisa, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Piccarelli. You know, I just wanted to thank Missy and all the folks that worked with her, like Lisa Riolo in the Affiliates Give Back. And every year, these guys pick a charity, and actually, usually multiple charities. And everybody here is so generous about trying to support them. And I always feel so good about meeting all these people and learning all this great stuff and knowing that I was able to make a small contribution to something and I think I just think it's so great that you guys work so hard to give back to other people. So thank you very much. Wow, your voice sounds much better. She's projecting. Um, wow, I see Connie back there. No. Todd Farmer. No. Wow, I'm be really being let down. Oh, here we go, Peter. No, no, you got to stay here because we're filming, so. This is a professional uh, event here. We, we've choreographed it. Here you go. Thank you. Um, I'm Peter from Germany. My first affiliate summit, I did the roundtable discussion on mobile affiliate marketing. I just want to say thank you for the invitation. It's been a great event for me. 
get to know a lot of people and I'm definitely coming back. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Do I have to beg? Is I, do, I, do I really have to beg? Andy Rodriguez, an old friend coming through. Now, I'm not calling you old, I'm just saying you're an old friend. What a great guy. Thank you, Andy. You know, I heard about your mandals and uh, I was really impressed. Being native from Miami, I use mandals all the time, but we never call them mandals. We just call them sandals. Florida rocks! All the Florida peeps! <laughs> the after party is over at uh, Missy's house, I think. On Friday till Sunday. Missy, can I give him your address? Have everybody go by? Well, this is my first affiliate summit. There's actually the first affiliate summit in Boston, and it's the first affiliate summit that we uh, got quotes by uh, Missy to have a booth. And I want to thank you, Missy, because it was a whole different experience. We were anchored down for 24 hours <laughs> and weren't able to network <laughs> very effectively. <laughs> so I owe you one, okay? <laughs> now, it was really cool, really cool. Yes, yes. It was really cool, it was really cool. For those of you in the room that did not take a booth or have not taken a booth and come to check it out, Highly advisable to invest in a booth. Uh, it's a whole different level, different perspective. Merchants actually came to us and gave us money to manage their programs, which is the first. You know, they came to us because of the booth. It was fantastic. But again, it's been said, thank you, Missy and Sean. I remember the first affiliate summit in the boat from an individual by the letter of H that we all know. The booze cruise, as it was called, it has evolved from a booze cruise to a very informative networking event and something that on a personal and uh, business level, it's been great for our business at ARC and uh, has definitely added to our bottom line. So it is an investment and the ROI is there. If anybody has been considering making the leap to a booth, I know that a couple of our merchants that were here, both big discount, uh, the guy from the nuts. Did everybody try our nuts? I mean, we really tried to publish our nuts like everywhere, okay? So if you didn't try our nuts, you missed out. You have to wait to Vegas. We have what? We have more nuts in the booth. <laughs> I heard somebody there. Okay, let's keep the, the jokes to the side nuts, okay? But anyway, uh, our merchants are going to take a booth next year, and we encourage everybody in the room that has the ability. I know the booths are open already, are they? And they are going fast. So, again, thanks. Thank you for the great parties. The party at the boat absolutely rocked. Where is he? There he is. The man, the myth, the legend, Brian from Sherrisdale. Thank you, sir. Everything you do is a class act. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. So we've only got about 15 minutes left or less. So if you really, really wanted to get up here, you should come and do it right now. Because I know you're worried that there's not going to be enough time for you to come up and speak. So Teresa, I'd like to come back up. Great. Here you go. Whenever I got discouraged, there were so many people that encouraged me to keep going, like Kim and Sean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whenever I got discouraged with affiliate marketing, you know, just learning and Kim and Sean have kept me going and encouraged me not to give up. So I appreciate them. Thanks. Yeah, and I mean, everyone, thank you, Teresa. And everyone comes up here and says thank you to, to Sean and, and Millie. And no, Sean and Missy. And I don't, I don't think Sean's in the room, but I just have to say huge, huge thank you to Sean and Missy once again for letting me do this. It's a great honor, and I love doing it. Thank you very much. Thank you for putting on a great show. You guys are the best hosts uh, anyone's ever known. These are great shows. I always have a great time. There's Sean. Thank you, Sean and Missy, very much. What's that? Amy Rodriguez. Oh my gosh. She does so much for the show. And the whole staff, we should really thank the whole staff because they do so much stuff to get this show ready. So is Amy in the house? Is she here? Well, if you see Amy, tell her thank you very much because she does so much stuff behind the scenes 
and she does a really great job. So thank you, Amy, Sean, Missy, and the entire Affiliate Summit staff. And I got to thank the audiovisual guys and everybody here. They've been a first class act. And, and oh my gosh, Tris uh, Hussey has done a fantastic job as the photographer for this event. Unbelievable. He took a great picture of me the other night that is one of the best photos that's ever been taken of me, except it had Todd Crawford in the picture with me. <laughs> Ruined the picture completely. But Tris, great job. And, and you can go see Tris's photos on his Flickr stream. And they'll, obviously they'll be released another time. There you go. Thank you. So, uh, Jim, good job this year. You did a great job speaking from a little bit of experience. I know how hard that can be. Um, all I wanted to say was that I think what makes this event really great, and I want to continue to encourage everybody, is the generosity that everyone comes to the event with. Um, generosity with respect to information, reaching out, helping people. Um, I've learned a lot. I continue to learn a lot. I'm always amazed at that, that you know, you come in and you think, okay, I've got a pretty good handle on, the, on this affiliate thing. And then you discover, wow, there's all these other things happening. There's a lot happening in the social media space, et cetera. And that people are really freely giving out that information. So I just want to thank all of you for doing that and making it the kind of event that it is and encouraging everybody to continue to do it. Thank you, Todd. He's, he's showing the flame. I feel like I'm at a concert. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you, Lisa. Tris, you've been taking photos the whole time. You have anything to say about this event? You, you're the man who viewed every single person from their true person, just from the lens. You have anything to say? I'm so tired. Okay. Well, Tris is not coming up. So, Karen, would you like to say anything? You don't have to. I just guilt you into it. Yes, the brownie girl, Karen Garcia. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try not to be terrified because you guys all scare the crap out of me. But um, I do want to say thank you so much to Missy and Lisa and Angel and Adam and Jen and the other people that are walking with us uh, in Seattle doing the three-day because they're so awesome. And it, all the people that bought a button from us, you totally rock. Um, go to the website. If you don't know about it, donate. Um, we're trying to give $45,000. We're pretty close. So come help us out. Anyway, thank you so much. Oh, and we still have buttons, so come buy them. So anyway, thank you. Oh, they're 10 bucks. 10 bucks to support the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. And you can get them right here from you guys. Come right here, right now. You have 10 bucks left. Jay Good. What's that? Oh, OK. If you have $100. Affiliate marketers give back.com to follow this entire thing. And I'm sure they'll talk about how much money they raise. This is you know, an important thing. So it's really good that they were doing it. You had something you want to say? Yeah, you know what? You know, we're almost out of time, but Cory Booker, does anyone want to come up and talk about Cory Booker? Because I there were people with tears in their eyes when he gave his speech. And I talked to a lot of people who really moved by it. Does anyone want to come up and just say a word about it? Anyone? I, I really enjoyed it. Do you, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. Trisha Lynn, it's so great to meet you. Great to meet you. I really liked the keynote just because it wasn't completely related to our industry, but it touched enough different, our industry is so big that it touched enough of what people do that it was inspirational to everybody. And if you didn't want to leave this room wanting to conquer the world, you weren't listening because it was very universal and very deep without being preachy. And that's what I appreciated about it. And I did have tears in my eyes because it did want me not only to be a better affiliate, a better affiliate manager, but a better person. And I think that's important to, excuse me, to really get people jazzed and ready to participate in the conference and get out there and give it their all and have a great time. And I did, so. I, I can't agree more. Thank you very much. Yeah, and the Blogger Lounge was great. So, you ready? No, 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 I don't forget. 
Here you go. Um, this is my fourth summit. I think I actually came probably three years ago, and then I took about a year break. And hello. <laughs> Um, I'm glad to be here. I brought my husband this time. Um, he, he's actually an architect, has nothing to do with the world of geeks, and he's had a great time. I was able... <laughs> and squish the boobies is his motto now. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people... When I first... My very first summit, I came in not knowing what affiliate marketing was. And it inspired me enough to get involved in the industry. And now I'm here understanding what the industry is about. I've met a lot of great people online. And this summit and the previous summit in Vegas, I was actually able to put a face to a, an avatar, which is an amazing inspiration to keep going. Um, it's nice to put a voice to people that you only read in text. And it's, this time was really special to me because I actually got to spend one-on-one -on -one time with people that I only send 140 characters to. Um, the, the, Cory, the Cory Booker start to the summit, I think, was the best start to an event because it didn't get people riled up to do something better. It got them riled up to think bigger. And I think that was a really important thing for this event. And I'm glad to be here. And now we have to leave tomorrow. So thanks. All good things must come to an end. All right, so we're almost out of time. Missy, would you like to say something? I know I shouldn't call on you. I shouldn't call you out like that, but. Missy Ward. There you go. Hi, my name is Millie Ward, and this is my 10th affiliate summit. <laughs> um, you know, it's really interesting to me. Um, people were questioning, like, why we chose Cory Booker, because he doesn't really have a tie-in with affiliate marketing, but what he does have is a tie-in um, with Sean and my own core beliefs. And it's you know, giving back to a community and as such, you know, our affiliate marketing community with, um, if you take a look at the mentor program that was going on for the newbies, which thank you very much, Teresa, and all of the people that participated in it. I look at some of the people that were, um, gave up their time to become mentors that um, Sean and I met, you know, a few affiliate summits ago, who at that point may not have been able to afford to attend the show. And now, you know, we, we gave them a ticket, and now I'm looking at it as like, you know, pay it forward. They're adopting newbies into the show and volunteering their time. So um, pushing, pushing things forward and the uh, Cory Booker tie-in with um, affiliate marketers give back and all of the other uh, different charities that um, we help raise funds for over the course of the year. It's just a matter of looking at your circle of influence. Who do you know? How can you help another person um, or another group? And um, I just wanted to say thanks to Cory Booker because he did start my, my Monday off really well and hopefully he did as much as you. And thank you all for coming. And that's it. <laughs> thanks, Jim. Thanks for everybody that helped with everything, all the people that volunteer behind the scenes, too. So, Thank you, Missy. So does anyone else want to come up, or we'll just wrap it up? Is there anyone who's dying to come up here and talk? Let's wrap it up. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the Affiliate Summit. See you in October for the one-day social media event, and then I will see you in Vegas in January when the Browns are in the Super Bowl. And your birthday. Your 30th birthday. Thank you, everybody. I hope you had a great time. I'm Jim Kukro. Thank you very much, and everyone have a great night.